membrane of that bacteria. So, defense scenes can actually act to break the microorganism which is trying to enter our body at the surface level. So, really if you look at it these are all various mechanical barriers which will try to prevent the entry of a microorganism in our body. So, what does the microorganism want at the end of the day? It wants to be able to breach through our skin or the mucous membranes, enter our body tissue and really eat it and be happy in there or circulate in the tissue and do all kind of stuff. So, we are trying to prevent that. So, the very first thing which we did, we put together a mechanical barrier. barrier. So, that is like a fort in the old times when you have, remember we have forts and these forts have those strong walls made up of bricks and multiple layers and thick layers and so on. And so, it is difficult for the invaders to enter through that fort. So, our skin layers are an example of those forts. The only fun thing is that within the skin layer, these are not just the surfaces, there are chemical molecules sitting there, which are actively causing holes in the bacteria which are coming in or we will see that we would have aminoglobulin sitting here. So, if I make it with the black marker, aminoglobulin sitting here which we will talk more as we continue with the immunology. These are also molecules which can then hang these sad viruses and bacteria. They can keep them away from us. So, imagine we have a little stick coming out from the surface and when the bacteria or the invader is attacking us, we hold it and just keep it over there. So, that is another example of a chemical substance sitting on the surface trying to keep the bacteria and viruses away from us. So, these are some of the um, mechanical barrier. Another important thing which we should keep in mind, we are actually inhabited by many of the friendly viruses and bacteria. These are called nor normal flora. So, we have a lot of normal flora viruses bacteria sitting in our body. For example, they are sitting in our throat, they are sitting in the vagina, they are sitting in the pulmonary surfaces and what are they doing? they are occupying this surface and they are occupying the receptors which could be used by the bacteria or viruses to enter the body. So, they are inhabiting, they are, they are covering our surfaces and that is why sometimes when a doctor uses broad spectrum antibiotics, he wipes out, he or she wipes out those friendly bacteria and when that area is clean the opportunistic bacteria or the harmful bacteria, they get an opportunity to quickly invade that area and start entering the body. Another way our body is presenting a mechanical barrier is by, provide, by providing acidic environment. So, what happens is for example, in the stomach, so let us say this is a piece of stomach surface, we know that the pH here is low. So, low pH means acidity. So, that is like our body is having in an acidic environment for the bacteria and viruses to cross through. So, the challenge for them is for the bacteria and viruses is to cross through that low pH area. So, this is an area filled with secretions which are low in pH. So, that would be stomach or vagina. And so, when the bacteria tries to enter, he gets coagulated by the acids present here. So, many ways of presenting the, the barrier for the entry of the pathogen into our body. So, that is equal to the walls of a fort, which are strengthened, which are bigger, which are thicker, which allow the invaders to stay outside. So, that is one. Then let us say somehow the virus or the bacteria whoever he had better drills, he has 
he had better uh, strength, he was stronger, we, our mechanical barriers could not offer him resistance or there was an injury to the mechanical barrier and that is why many times when we have injuries we start developing infections. So the barrier was breached for some reason. That could be a, an injury to the barrier, that could be a stronger version of the bacteria, that could be just bad hygiene of a person, so many reasons. But at the end of the day, that virus or bacteria or pathogen has happened to enter our body. So now he's having a big party here. He's saying, well, I'm inside the body. I'm going to have fun now. Do you think that our body should now let it go? He has reached through the barrier. So he is inside the body. So maybe he has a right to stay in. The city says, well, let the person stay here. So in, in our case, our body actually reacts to this foreign pathogen. So how do we react to this? Again, we would talk more about individual um, components of our reaction of, of our immune system. Here, uh, here we are trying to build a bigger picture. So once the virus or bacteria or the pathogen has entered the body, then what happens is mostly under the surfaces of our body, just like behind the walls of the fort are sitting or standing people, correct? So they are guarding the door.